Hello, my friends. It's time for the Rocket and Ray Gut Awards 2016. I've got three of my best buddies in the gaming industry with me. Not physically this year. We are using the magic of the internet to get us all together. Steve Tilly is here. Hello, Steve Tilly. Hello, Victor Lucas. How I are you, you, my I friend? I miss you so much. I miss you too, brother. It's good to see you, even just like in, in virtual, in your virtual self. I wish I could touch your cheeks. Oh, thanks, pal. And they, they probably look really big from this terrible camera angle that we have right now. <laughs> uh, ben Silverman is here with us as well. Hello, Ben. I'm feeling festive, Victor. I oh. got my shirts and I got my hats. I'm ready for Star Wars week. Rogue One is coming out. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to talk video games too. Awesome, man. I have both of those and I haven't been uh, confident enough to wear them together at the same time. So bravo, sir. Uh, and Ho Jose, Jose Sanchez is with us as well. How you doing, Foobs? Doing all right. You know, it's just uh, another week in the life of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 good to be you. All right, my guy. All right, my friends. It is time for us to uh, start breaking this down. This has been a very uh, busy, crazy year. Um, and as I was putting these lists together and sharing them with you, uh, I was having to kind of refresh on a bunch of games and jump into a bunch of games. And I uh, I came away kind of recognizing that we've had a, a lot of excellent titles this year. It hasn't been as many big blockbusters, I feel, as maybe in other previous years, but there have been a lot of really cool titles to talk about. And we're going to get started right now. We're going to talk about the uh, best racing game of 2016. Our nominees are Forza Horizon 3, Drive Club VR, Dirt Rally, which also has a VR mode, Trackmania Turbo, which also has a VR mode, and Project Cars, which also has a VR mode. So four out of the five you can play them with your virtual reality headsets. Steve, which out of these five did you like the most? Well, I think there's gonna be a clear winner in this group. Um, and and I, I, love, I love the Forza Horizon series. I'm not so much a, a gearhead, uh, so I'm, I'm not, I'd stay away from the, the main Forza series, but the Horizon games are fun. They're like more the, the arcade racer that, that's more my thing. But I gotta tell you, I spent a lot of time playing Trackmania Turbo this year. It is an insanely fun game, especially when you're playing against your buddies and trying to beat each other's ghosts and like doing the the, the, the tracks are like puzzles. It's like it's like racing meets platforming, and there's something about that game that just just spoke to me. So, if we are voting, if we are casting votes, yeah, I'd have to go with Trackmania Turbo, but I have a feeling I'm going to be overruled on this. Uh, Trackmania Turbo is incredible. Did you make any tracks in that game? I did not. I just, you know, there's so many, uh, there's so many tracks to choose from, and, so, and then even getting through the campaign and getting into the uh, the higher level tracks, where it's just like you've got to be so precise, you've got to hit every jump and hit every loop perfectly. Like that's uh, that, that's just that's all I need. I'm I'm not really big into the user generated content myself. Yeah. I like to sort of be a leech that sucks you know, the creativity out of other people. I don't. I don't really put anything out there myself. Yeah, you know. I don't. I don't contribute. I just take. Man, you made it gross and creepy already. <laughs> That's how we roll around here. Okay, Ben, what did you think out, out of these five? It's been a while since I've seen Steve Tilly, and uh, it turns out now I know why he's been on drugs. A lot. I thought all the drugs were in Vancouver, in Canada, but it turns out they have a lot of them in Toronto because Track Media. How do you not choose Forza Horizon Three? That is. Not only is it the best racing game of the year, it is a really, I think, a, a legit contender for game of the year. That is the most complete racing game I have played in forever. I mean, yes, it's got a lot of the sort of, uh, you know, a lot of the gear stuff that you get in uh, uh, Forza, in the regular Forza series, still sort of a, a lot of cars and a lot of that kind of sim meets arcade feel, but it's just the biggest, most beautiful kind of so many things to do and so many ways to race and so many different mini games and it's just everything I think you could want in an open world racer. It's also an incredible looking game if you have a 4K TV. This is one of the few games that really took advantage of it in 2016. And uh, I just would like to also like to call out Project Cars because of all the VR games, uh, racing games I should say this year, that was the one that I thought was the most playable. Uh, Drive Club makes you a little nauseous. I felt the same way uh, about uh, Dirt Rally. I think it was a little barfy, but Project Cars I thought actually held up pretty well in VR. Uh, that being said, uh, we are on drugs in the Bay Area, but we're on good drugs. The drugs that make us right, the drugs that say Forza Horizon 3. There's no right or wrong, man. There's no right or wrong. Is that, is, that, uh, is that your campaign pledge there, Ben Silverman? <laughs> we legalized it this year, so I don't even have to campaign. We, we can just do it when we want. But yes, Forza Horizon. Okay. All right, Foobs, what'd you think, my friend? 
Well, I think hearkening on uh, what Steve said about Trackmania Turbo, it's one of those like little big planet kind of games where you can do all this cool stuff in it, but you just don't want to go out and do all that cool stuff yourself. You want to take advantage of everybody else's cool stuff that they're doing. Yeah. Um, hi, Blake. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, again, I mean, I've been a big fan of the Forza franchise for a while, and uh, Forza Horizon 3 just takes it the Horizon series. I mean, this is the third Forza game that we've had on Xbox One. Xbox One's only like three years old. We get Forza games every year. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that they keep switching between the Forza and Forza Horizon yeah. series. But three is just a beautiful game. Uh, it's just so pretty. I'm looking at it right now because I was just playing it before we got done because I can't put my controller down. It, uh, so I'm definitely going to get my nod to the Horizons. Yeah, I think it, you know it's interesting because Dirt Rally and um, uh, Project Cars are great simulations. They're very solid racing games. Uh, but it is easy to kind of have enough, you know, and sort of have your fill with them. But it's a very different thing with Forza Horizons and Trackmania Turbo. Like, you just don't want to stop playing these two games. They're candy, you know? And I, I think we have to kind of acknowledge this Forza team for doing something so remarkable, you know? Like, this is a, a, a kind of a tried and true, venerable, kind of, you know, exhausting genre that always has something you know, fun in the category, but not hardly ever surprising. And I think it really shocked me how much I loved Forza Horizon 3. I just could not believe what an incredibly solid game that was. Trackmania Turbo is a, a great um, build on all of the work that's been going on at that team. And, uh, you know, it, it pumps up with, uh, you know, beautiful graphics and stuff like that. But Forza Horizon 3, with its off-road racing, with its uh, auctions, with its uh, terrific control. Even the Kinect implementation in that game is pretty pretty damn sweet. You can actually have the car call out your name and you're talking to the car and you're having conversations and yeah, it's a Kinect? surreal game. What is this, Kinect? What is Kinect? that? I've never heard of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you guys that's... remember Kinect? It's, uh, it's a microphone. Oh, okay. Oh, was, oh, con oh yeah. Kinect. Yeah, it's oh, that right. microphone oh, right. where that you old... can talk to the Xbox One. Yeah, I saw that at a flea market the other day. So yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's good for saying Xbox, turn off. Or yeah. Xbox on. Literally the only thing it's good for. That is like <laughs> pausing Netflix here. Watching. <laughs> All cool. right, so my vote is for uh, Forza Horizon 3 as well. Suck it, Tilly. <laughs> I said, I, I said Forza Horizon is a beautiful game. I just wanted to throw, like, you know, I throw my vote away. I'm like, I'm like the people who, who uh, you know, threw their vote away in the election and, and elected Trump. I'm throwing my vote away. I track being and, and you like to keep us on our toes, and I love that about you, Steve That's Tilly. Right. Uh, but oh, yeah. uh, for the Rocket and Reagan Award winner this year in the racing category, congratulations to Forza Horizon 3. You won a coffee cup. <laughs> Can't tell what the award is or what the cup is. There we go. All right, we've got a lot more from the Rocket and Ray Guns.